Generally, Last Day on Earth has more to do with strategy than it does with being skilled at the game, but when skill is involved, timing is everything. So today I'm going to teach you how to get more buttons on your phone. When I had one of my videos exploding in Call of Duty Mobile, a bunch of companies started sending me free stuff so that I could play that game better, with the hope that I would then give them a shout out. Sadly, I was not able to get the traction that I was hoping for in Call of Duty Mobile, but I am using those items they gave me in all of my games now, and two of them are particularly helpful for Last Day on Earth because they give me more buttons to work with, and more buttons means I can do things faster. The first one is called the Wasp 2, and it's made by the company Flytogy. After pairing the Wasp 2, it attaches to the left side of your phone as a gamepad extension. When you first pair it with a game, it will come up with a screen like this so that you can map the different keys to the game that you are playing. So for example, in Last Day on Earth, I like to map the two left triggers with my two quick slots, map the joystick with the joystick in the game, and I like to map the sneak button with the action of pushing the joystick down. But here's where the Wasp 2 becomes really OP for Last Day on Earth. I like to map the trigger in the back called M with my backpack, and then I map the A, B, and Flytogy buttons with the three slots in my inventory. I then make sure that those three spots in my inventory always correspond with the item that I'm wanting to quick grab. So for example, I make sure that A is always a gun and the B is always health. And then when my gun breaks or I run out of health, I can easily click the M button and then double click the A or B to replace whatever resources I'm out of. I do have to click the exit button with my thumb, but all of that together takes like 0.2 seconds, which allows me to equip a gun or health much faster than I ever could have done using my reflexes. So I recommend the Wasp 2 in that it works really well. It does cost $50, which I know is a lot for you guys. Many of you know that my budget for gaming is just $10 a month, so I recognize that $50 is a lot. But the Wasp 2 works on any game, and I'm really enjoying using it, so if you're choosing between spending 50 bucks on Last Day on Earth or buying the Wasp 2, then I would recommend the Wasp 2 because you will enjoy the rewards much longer. The second one is a lot more expensive, but ironically, it might actually be more affordable because it is actually a phone. Everyone needs to buy a phone from time to time, and I could not recommend more the Magic 3S. Nubia sent me this phone for free, but I am so in love with it that I plan to buy another one in a few years when this one gets old because it is actually cheaper than other gaming phones. But in my opinion, it's way better than those phones. It has a lot of the same specs that other gaming phones have, like liquid cooling, a quad-core snap, Snapdragon processor, a massive battery, great speakers, tons of RAM and hard drive space. But in addition to that, it also has a 90 Hertz OLED display and built-in triggers, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second. I'm not exactly sure how they were able to offer better specs for a lower price, but I have a theory that it's because they're using these influencer marketing strategies, which is probably saving them a lot of money on marketing. But what really makes this phone better than any other gaming phone is not its amazing specs, but rather how they of integrated gaming into this phone. When I first got this phone, it looked really nice and performed really well, just like I would expect a gaming phone should. But then when I flip this switch on the top left side of the phone, it turns the phone into a gaming portal. In this gaming mode, the phone screen and back button don't even exist on the phone. Rather, if you swipe from the bottom, it pulls up a ton of options unique to gaming. You'll notice on the top that it monitors the temperature of your phone, the speed of your internet, and the speed of both of your processors. This option allows you to boost your processors, but honestly, I don't know why anyone would need this because they are already so fast and everything runs super smooth. This 4D shock option makes it to where your phone will vibrate when something happens in the game, like if you're getting shot or if you fall off a building, but it only works on a few games right now. And then this next option is the most impressive thing about this phone and the main reason I wanted to tell you guys about it. The Magic 3S has built-in triggers so that when you click this button, it allows you to program what those triggers do. So for example, in Last Day on Earth, I make the right trigger shoot my gun, while the left trigger can activate one of my quick slots. And then it even allows you to program this button on the back of the phone. So I've made that my other quick slot. So altogether, this allows me to use five fingers while playing, which is more than most claw players. And three of those fingers aren't taking up part of the screen. Now obviously, if I'm using the Wasp 2 with my gaming phone, it covers the left trigger and the button on the back. But there are a lot of times I'm traveling and I don't have the Wasp 2 on me. Also, if you have the money to buy a phone but don't have the money to buy the Wasp 2, then it's really nice that it has those extra triggers. 
Now Red Magic does make its own joystick controller which has just as many buttons for an even cheaper price, but it isn't quite as impressive as the Wasp 2. So if you want the best of the best, I recommend paying the extra 20 bucks for the Wasp 2. Then down here you can control your GPU fan, block messages, block calls, tank screenshots, and record gameplay. Guys, I freaking love this phone. I'm very grateful to those of my subscribers who bought me the Razer 2, and I still use it for auto farming and stuff like that, but I freaking love the Magic 3S, and I could not recommend it more. If you get one, let me know, and we can geek out together that we now both have better phones than everyone else. I'm serious, this is not a sponsored video, this recommendation is from my heart. Now I do have an affiliate code with Nubia, so if you do use the link that I have in the pinned post, I will get 3% of what you spend. But I can promise you that that is not the reason that I am recommending this phone. I turn down lots of sponsorships each week for products that aren't very good. This one is really good. I love this phone. I like the Wasp 2 as well. It's a really good product and better than the one that comes with the Red Magic 3S, but I freaking love my new phone. Well, that's it guys, hope that helps. I am now posting every Friday at the same time each week, which has been great for me personally because it's making my YouTube life a little bit more predictable, but it seems like you guys are liking it as well. Also, I'm making a lot of Last Day on Earth videos over the next couple months because I'm getting pretty close to 100K subscribers, so I'm gonna try to speed that up. If I can finish it fast enough, my next video will be 311 tips and tricks for Last Day on Earth. All right guys, I'll see you next time.